Finn over here trying to flatter Steffi, trying to butter her up. I said, sir, spit it out. I said, spit it out. I said, she gonna drop that smell so doggone fast. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chessie. This is for the Bold and Beautiful May 8th, 2024. Okay, so I said, Finn over here. I said, what's wrong with him? I said, what's wrong with you, sir? He over here just a smiling. He keep kissing Steffi and stuff. She's like, what's gotten into you? And she got this big smile on her face. I said, wait till you find out what the news is. Wait till you find out about the life he saved. I said, she's going to be upset, one, that he didn't tell her and he went to help look for Sheila in the first place. And two, because he made the decision to have a relationship with her. I said, this is going to end so badly. Well, it ain't going to end badly. It was bound to happen anyways. I'd be shocked if Steffi doesn't leave him. Okay, let's start with Hope and Finn. So they talking to whatever about the same thing, and he's just talking about some. He's hoping Steffi comes around eventually. He's going to be able to convince her. And I said, hey, where have you been all these years? Where have you been? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It, it's really going to take a miracle for Steffi to say, you know what? I'm going to try to have something to do with, with Sheila. Matter of fact, didn't she try? I think she tried. Before everything happened, she had tried to have something to do with Sheila. Remember, she invited her over, I don't know if it was for Christmas or uh, New Year's. But she did. She did try. It's over with. It is over with. But he was telling Hope about how he's ready to put the past behind him, behind them or whatever. And he kept saying, he kept repeating how Steph is going to come around and this is, she's going to be relieved that she didn't actually take a life and just study saying it. He keeps saying it. I said, sir. <laughs> I said, sir, the way Steffi been studying something, I said, yeah, I was there. I don't know who did it. I don't want to stab her. <laughs> I said, dude, she ain't going to care about none of this. Okay, what else? Hotels for and Steffi may not be understanding about this. Um, mainly her and a lot of other people not going to be accepting of this. I thought this is where Lee was going to come in, in, but I guess it's on tomorrow's episode or Friday's episode. But yeah, Hope trying to toss the sense to him. She was like, she feels like uh, he should be realistic. I said, right, same here. I said, right. I said, what? What? <laughs> He just got the biggest smile on his face. I said, sir, Finn, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Meanwhile, Steffi over here keeps saying the same thing, too. She keeps saying how they no longer have to deal with Sheila, how she's out of her life and Finn's. They both never had to have anything to do with her and all this other stuff. And I said, mm -mm -mm. But uh, Liam and Steffi, they were just talking about the same thing, like, the previous episodes. And Steffi thanks Liam to my son. Oh, I don't know what I would do without you. I said, I told y'all, these folks be acting like, <laughs> once they, look, get into a new relationship and their relationship in or whatever, they get amnesia. They be like, oh, you're so wonderful. Oh, I miss you. And, oh, all this other stuff. Did you forget why you left in the first place? Then you got Sheila and Deacon. So Deacon is ready to marry Sheila. He tells her, and she's like, basically, she doesn't want to hide. Because remember what he said to my son, um, uh, um, he gonna keep the they gonna keep the engagement on the down low. They don't want nobody to know. <laughs> Why I say it like that? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, she was like she ain't trying to hide. She said don't hide me. She said don't hide me or whatever. But he was like he has no intention of hiding her. I said right on. I said that's the way to go. That's the way to go. But he agrees that he doesn't want that either. He doesn't want to hide his love. He ready for everybody to know. He starts screaming on the rooftop and everything, letting everybody know he want to marry her. She herself or whatever. And then. They're talking about how people going to react. And he said he just hoped that hope comes around. He ain't pressed about these other folks. I said, yeah, we'll see how long that lasts. But, yeah, that's how that happened. It ended with um, Finn finally coming home and saying, you know, he had some great news, some miraculous news, something great happened. He did technically save a life or whatever. She just smiling. I said, watch how fast that smile leave on tomorrow's episode. But that's it, y'all. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, do subscribe. Girl, it's the day and be safe. Thank you all for all the support thus far. If you're looking for more ways to further support, you can purchase clothing from the LV shop or encouraging messages or sign up for groups. All links are always in the description below. Thank you so much.